Hey everybody, welcome back to the VMP Performance Channel. I'm Justin, and in front of me, I've got our ice tank. These are starting to ship, which is just freaking awesome, but let's talk about what this thing does. Uh, one of the features that we have not really spoken a whole lot about is some of the engineering that we put into this tank. We don't do anything without trying to make the mousetrap better, and this is definitely a better mousetrap for more than just meets the eye. One of the things I wanted to address with our ice tank design is the aeration that occurs in traditional ice tanks. These fittings here can be inlet or outlet, um, you know, because whatever water you suck out has to go back into the tank at some point. Um, so this is universal, omnidirectional, symmetrical, uh, you can call it a couple different things. But a lot of these tanks have a couple things going on. When I say these tanks, I mean traditional aluminum tanks. They have some issues. Traditional aluminum tanks will have a return up high. So the first thing that happens is the water shoots out in a stream, hits the surface of the water in the tank, splashes and aerates. And air is a poor conductor of heat. You do not want it in your intercooler system. First thing we did with our tank, move the return below the water line. And that solved a lot of problems, but we found it did not solve all the problems. And that is where our FEA modeling and our simulations and ultimately our solution come into play. We added these features on the tank to basically keep the water below the water line because we found that even once you returned it properly, it would still hit the back of the tank and splash up. So these features control the splash and they also have another really cool effect. They help the circulation within the tank because we found the water would just go in the tank and then go right out of the tank and any ice or cold stuff in the middle really wouldn't do much. So that feature helps everything mix and distribute and the simulation goes from like 50% of the water to short circuiting to only about 10% going back out, which, uh, hey, that's like a huge improvement. Those were the things we had to solve with our trunk ice tank design. And out of everything else that we did, some other cool benefits came about. Plastic, way less conductive than aluminum, so the tank doesn't sweat. I think if like you were in a Florida, 100 degree day and it had just rained and you had ice in here, that maybe this thing could somehow still sweat. So I am hesitant to say that it will never sweat, but it is way less likely to sweat than a traditional aluminum tank. And you're probably not racing in those conditions anyways. So that's a big thing that uh, some of our early adopters and racers are already loving about this tank. Another thing engineering wise that we had to address was the pump orientation under acceleration you do not want your pump having any types of twists or turns. So we feed with our bracketry that we supply, our silicone adapters, everything, we feed the pump directly into the inlet. And that is just gonna keep cool, high flowing water going to your intercooler core and your supercharger system when you need it most at wide open throttle. From years of drag racing and reviewing data logs and tuning, those are the big things that I wanted to address in our tank design. Certainly other little things on this tank, there's no welds to break. It's a nice seamless design. It's molded to the trunk floor. A lot of other little things fall out of this and it's gonna be a lot easier for you to install this in your car. As I mentioned earlier, tanks are now shipping. Check out the links below. This is just one of the many things we do at VMP to support making more horsepower with your car. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.